face and neck lift essentially is reshaping face and neck. I have divided the face and the neck area to five areas. I call them zones of the face. Forehead and upper eyelid is called zone one. Lower eyelid is called zone two. Upper face or the mid face is zone three. Over your jaw area is called zone four, which is your jowls. And neck area is zone five. And we grade them from zero to three. Zero, they have no problem. Three, they have a severe problem. So when I give this simple formula to the person, they understand what I have to do for them. And what we do is always we ask them to bring your picture when you are younger. So if you are 50 years of age and you bring your pictures, which is about 20 years of age, I want to make your facial shape and structure and your neck like you were before. That's why how we decide mutually with the patient and myself what we have to do for them. Facelift operation can be done as a, again under local anesthesia, IV sedation, general anesthesia. Can be done in the office setting if you have a proper equipment and the facility or can be done as an outpatient. Most of the time it's done as a same day surgery. The person goes home. They do not have to stay in the hospital. If you combine them with other procedures, you might keep the person overnight in the hospital. And the recovery again, depending on what you have done is a matter of the, like a one or two weeks. If you have a good skin tone and elasticity and you do the proper tightening and reshaping of the face, the results are going to be longer lasting. If the patient does not have that proper elasticity of the skin and you do not address all the area, the procedure result is going to be much shorter. Also, we always talk about the environmental factor how much distress and stress you have in your life, how much sun exposure you have, whether you're a smoker or not. But as a general rule, average person who has this procedure done with a proper trained person, they are gonna have a good result at least 10, 15 years.